Well, some of you guys out there have asked about my solar powered or let's say renewable energy house. This is basically my setup with the breaker panel and transfer switch and all that stuff. Um, what it is is a 4000 watt trace inverter. It comes out at 110 volt. So all my 220 stuff has got a step up transformer. So it gives me 220 for like the well pump and miscellaneous weird things. Uh, master breaker panel for the batteries. Solar charge uh, controller. Breaker box for the solar. Uh, even got um, twist lock cord for my generator which is buried under the tarp. It's an electric start generator so all I gotta do is wheel it out the door, fire it up. And now I get the board out of the way. There's the battery bank. 820 amp hours of lead acid batteries. I'll turn to the side so people can get kind of an idea, but that's what I got for batteries. There's a thousand pounds of lead acid batteries here. We got enough power at full tilt for about five hours or 24 hours on a light duty day without a generator. And that's no outside power. So now if we go ahead and look what I've got producing. Okay, here's one of my productions. Nice sunny morning. And I'll go back in there and we'll look at what the charge rate is. But there's 400 watts of solar. And kind of cloudy overcast, but I'm getting a little bit of production for that moment. So there's 50 watts per panel, 400 watts total. Let's take a trek across the backyard now. Let's go look at the hydro power plant. You're starting to hear it, I'm sure. That little generator shed up here. been kind of noisy. My homebrew controller and basically that's one winding, no windings. Now she's three spooling. One, two, now she's back on full generation. And there's my wastewater. It runs out to the backyard to a capture pond for fire suppression purpose. Which works really good. So I got probably about 2,000 gallons out there in that tarped hole in the ground. But there's the water from the Pelton wheel. And like I said, it's about 200 watts worth of power. It's a little belt driven motor. But like I said, it's kind of a homebrew setup. So we'll go back over to the inverter now. Yeah, we kind of got done with dinner. I mean, breakfast, excuse me. Dinner. <laughs> yeah. But right now I'm using. Well, this camera does not like this display at all. Okay. 17, 18 amps AC. Producing about two. I'll see that. Yeah, it's about two amps for the production from the Pelton wheel. Almost three. There's 26 volts basically, 26 and a half. 
converters 119 and there's the grid coming in from the city so all my power that I produce in excess is used first and city second and as you can see I've got line tie up so it's actually could sell out if there's not enough load to consume it but there's the battery bank that supplies the entire house so there you go my solar system in the rough